You might be trapped in a cycle of poor financial decisions and you don't even know it. In fact, there's a psychological concept that might be stopping you from reaching better states in your life. So get ready to learn with JFlow as we dive into this behavioral economic concept. Now, as you can probably tell from the title of the video, I'm going to be talking about the endowment effect, a behavioral economic concept that showcases one of the hundreds of ways humans act irrationally. Essentially, the endowment effect states that we value what we own more than what we don't own, even if that's the exact same item. A common example of the endowment effect is the coffee mug experiment, where researchers split a group of students into two groups, where one received coffee mugs and the other received a fancy pen. Students then had the opportunity to trade their coffee mug with another student for the pen or vice versa. Since both commodities were valued at the same economic price, the expected outcome was that students who preferred mugs will end up being left with mugs and students who preferred pens will end up making trades to get those pens. This is the Pareto economic efficiency. However, in the experiment, barely any trades ended up occurring. The sellers of the mugs and pens ended up valuing what they owned two times the amount they were willing to buy. To put in other words, it didn't matter if the user actually objectively preferred the pen, because just by owning the mug, they end up having much more preference to it, the endowment effect. But JFlow, valuing my mug more than I would actually pay doesn't even seem like a detrimental financial choice. And that may be true, but that's why we have much more grander examples of the endowment effect in play. For example, car dealerships. Have you ever had the opportunity to test drive a car before purchasing it? If so, you're already falling victim to the endowment effect trap. You see, by test driving the car, even for a couple of minutes, your mind already starts to treat the car as your own. Consequently, you end up putting more value into the car and thus more likely to overspend on it. Another example involves stocks. When you purchase a stock, you attach emotional value into it even if you're not consciously aware. As a result, you may be more likely to keep the stock even when the market says you shouldn't. The endowment effect also extends to our positions in life, such as work. For example, we may stay in a bad job just because it's the job we currently have when there are other career opportunities that we can move forward to. This exact same thinking can be applied to home owning and, on a macro scale, government policy. Once certain benefits or subsidies come into place, the beneficiaries hold psychological ownership to it, and therefore any cuts or repeals or efforts to do that will be met with a ton of backlash. So now that we know all this, what can we do about it? How can we apply this to our daily lives? The first step is to be aware of when the endowment bias is taking place into any life or financial decision. For example, the next time you're decluttering your house and you're deciding on things to throw away or sell on Facebook Marketplace, realize the stuff that you're keeping. Are you keeping it because it will provide practical use and value for you in the future? Or are you just keeping it because you own it and because you have it? For bigger ticket purchases like home owning and car owning, detach your emotions from your choice. Consider the true value of the car or home, and then consider whether or not the price tag accurately reflects those components. Now, I know detaching emotions and bias completely from decision-making is practically impossible. So another effective way to get through it is by having a trusted family member or friend give you a third-person perspective. Having someone who's honest, but also has no skin in the game, will counterbalance your biases. And there you have it. That was the endowment effect, its examples, and how you can apply it to your daily life. Now you know because of J-Flow.